Welcome to Anatomy of a Goal on MLSsoccer.com. I'm Greg Lawless. In this episode, we look at Chris Wondolowski's second goal for the San Jose Earthquakes in a 5-0 drubbing of Real Salt Lake on Saturday, July 14, 2012. Classic wing play seems to be a lost art in today's age of Spanish-style tiki-taka, but simply beating a man down the line can still be a thing of beauty. Let's wind it back and break it down. Now this play starts when Shea Salinas gets the ball on the right flank. There's no one around. The nearest RSL defender is a good 10 yards away. In short, Salinas is in the driver's seat for everything that comes next. Now it should be noted that at this point of the game, RSL are already down two goals and down to 10 men. They are clearly rattled and tired, which helps explain why they fail to apply any pressure on the ball. Still, this goal, for the most part, comes down to individual play and the Earthquakes clearly come out on top in that category. Once Salinas has the ball, he has two main options. One, he can dilly-dally on the ball for a few seconds and then send it back the way it came to kill off a little bit more of the clock. Or two, drive forward and go for the jugular. Thankfully, Salinas chooses the second option. When you're watching a player quote-unquote do a defender, there are several things to notice. First, the angle of approach. Mansali drives at RSL defender Kenny Mansali at a 45 degree angle relative to the field of play. This keeps Mansali guessing and it keeps Salinas' options open. He can cut into the middle and look for a combination or he can dart down the line if Mansali gives it to him, which is what Mansali does. It's an odd choice because Mansali actually has defensive help in the middle where Will Johnson is supporting him. Mansali should be showing Salinas to the middle, not down the line. Second thing to notice is the change of pace. Salinas' first few touches are slow and deliberate. He's like a cat stalking a mouse, waiting for the right moment to pounce. That moment comes when Mansali bites on Salinas' slight little hop to the left. Suddenly, the lane is open for Salinas to turn on the Jets. Last thing to notice is Salinas' touch after the move. He gets the ball out from under his feet, which keeps it away from Mansali and lets Salinas use his superior pace. Plus, it sets him up perfectly to drive his cross to the near post. From there, all it takes is a touch from Wondolowski. Actually, a pretty impressive deft touch from Wondolowski to put it in at the near post. Well, that's it for this episode of Anatomy of a Goal. Join me again next week for a special all-star edition of the show. We'll wind it back and break it down.